Good morning, everyone. My name is Carlos Rivera, and today my talk will be about the health of the oceans. Specifically, about my research question is, to what extent do oil spills along the Gulf of Mexico negatively affect the marine life? So my argument is that the oil spills are harming a uh, large majority of the sea life uh, in the Gulf of Mexico. So oil spills, what are they and when do they occur? Oil spills are uh, spills of liquid petroleum hydrocarbon into the environment, usually due to human activity. Uh, they usually occur when people uh, make mistakes or are careless and cause oil tankers to leak. Uh, here are some images of how they negatively affect uh, some animal life, which are birds, like in our age. So, uh, harmful algal blooms. Uh, harmful algal blooms occur when algae grows out uh, out of control, and when there's too much, there are toxins that are put into the water that um, ultimately can mix with the oils, which uh, cause a very dangerous effect and can harm many of the animals. Uh, the effects that they have specifically on the Gulf of Mexico, they're harming many species of sea turtles and dolphins, including the loggerhead and the hawksbill, and uh, causing long-term effects. Uh, for example, chronic epilepsy, heart disease, and reproductive failure. Uh, the spills are also causing our waters to be uninhabitable and uh, causing species of dolphins, like the bottlenose dolphin, to be endangered. Uh, here's an example, a famous example, the red tide, uh, which is near Florida in the Gulf of Mexico. Uh, it, this happens when the uh, harmful algal blooms ultimately <coughs> take over pretty much the water and it becomes a sort of red color, hence the name of the red tide. <coughs> As shown in this graph, you can see because of the oil spills, uh, the red dots are the number of sea turtles and the black dots shown around here are because um, are the de deaths of dolphins. Uh, there are many more deaths between sea turtles and dolphins, which is shown by all the red dots. So, uh, others believe that uh, the Gulf of Mexico is being negatively affected because of the influx of fresh water that is coming in. <coughs> This is untrue because fresh water will not negatively affect the water as much as toxins will do. So some possible solutions to think about are increasing the fuel economy standards. For example, um, starting to use your gas pedal easier or just overall doing things to use up less fuel. Uh, finding more eco-friendly sources of energy uh, for example, solar panels, we can use those. And stay informed. Make sure you stay informed about the topic and learn different ways that you can help out. And so some implications would be, uh, be like using the, the eco-friendly energy sources may cause many companies to lar lose large amounts of money. And this will cause a, lar a large amount of people to lose jobs and those companies could possibly go out of business if things get out of hand. Uh, thank you. All right, two questions I have for you. Yes, sir. Um, how did your research question evolve as you moved through the process of research? At first, my research question was about how were the oil spills affecting a large part of the world, but then I narrowed it down because I realized that the Gulf of Mexico is the place that is uh, mostly affected by the oil spills. And if you had more time, what would you do? If I had more time, I would have uh, researched further into exactly what toxins were being put into the water by the uh, algal blooms. And I probably would have contacted uh, possibly a college professor, something to find out uh, exactly how the algal blooms are affecting the waters. You're done, you can breathe, brother.